YouTube, Eric DIY here with another instructional video. Today we're gonna fix the latch to the sliding glass door. We got one problem with this latch. When you push it down, it's supposed to lock. But as you can see, it's not latching at all. I can try going up and down on it and it still will not latch. And I wanna show you what the problem is. As you can see, we have this little hook here. And when I push this all the way down, it's supposed to go under the little latch here, so it gets in there and it hooks up and that's what locks the door in. But, here's what happens. If I unlock the door, it goes back in like it's supposed to, and if I try to lock it, it doesn't come back out again. So there's something clearly jammed in there. And if I wiggle it around, it'll eventually do it. But, we want it to work properly, so here's what we're gonna do. What you're gonna need is you're gonna need some type of grease. I have some white lithium grease here. You could also use silicone. And we're gonna spray it right into the door jam right here. And that should free up the lock so that'll be working. Spray underneath, on top, and I'll have to get a paper towel to wipe that up. And we'll let it sit there for just a little bit and then we'll try the lock. All right, so we lubricated the door. It's about a day later and uh, we're still having the same problem. So lubricating did not help it. So what we're gonna do now is I went to Home Depot and I bought a new patio door Mortiz latch. And we're just going to show you how to install it. So this is the ultimate fix. If you replace the part, it's gonna work. But try the lubricant first because some people do get it to work after lubricating it. The lock is here, but everything's attached by this door handle right here. So we're gonna take off these two screws, which go on through the door and onto this side. So this part is going to fall off as soon as you loosen up these two screws. So that's what we're gonna do first. Now that we have it loosened up, I'm just gonna take it off. And you see that, that's how it's screwed through the door. And then we have the lock itself. Now the Mortier's lock is held together with this, the switch right here. You wanna keep the switch, cause you're gonna need that for the new lock. So we just pop it right out. And then, you gotta be really careful here, cause some doors, the lock will fall down. But this one, it's attached to the white bracket with these two screws. So I'm gonna take the whole bracket out that's gonna loosen these two screws and the lock itself will come out and we'll put the new one in there. Loosen up the two screws. There's also another screw right here, by the way. That's to adjust the length of the hook. So we're not worried about that one. Just worry about the two main screws right there. All right, now that we got the Mortise lock out of the bracket, you can always take this to the store to find out which one you need. They do sell different styles of Mortise brackets, so make sure that you bring this to the store so you can compare and buy the right one. This was a perfect fit for mine, so that's why I bought this one. We do the reverse now. We're gonna put this into the white bracket. We put our new Mortise lock into the uh, bracket. Uh, what we're gonna do though is we're gonna make sure that this little latch thing here, it's gonna go through the big hole. And that way it'll be lined up the right way. So when you see that, you need that to put the locking latch back in. I'm gonna hold it down, and we're just gonna screw in on those two holes with the new screws that they provide. All right, and that's our bracket all put in, and we know it's correct because the latch thing's there. Our next step is just to put the bracket in the right way. It's gonna go up like this. And it's gonna line up with this center hole right here. Because then we're gonna take our little locking latch and we're gonna line it up in here. So that is what will move the latch up and down. There you go. So you see it's already working perfectly. Not like the old ones. The old one was definitely broken. The last step is to remember what side goes where. This goes on the inside with the handle. This goes on the outside. You're gonna go through these two holes, which will line up. Yeah, the screws go through the door. And then on the other side, you can see that the screws went through the door. And that's where this handle's gonna go. We want it to go this way, so you can open and close the door this way with it. And we're just gonna screw it in. It has two screw holes right there and right there. We'll screw it back on. But we have to hold this side down while we screw in from the other side. I'm holding the other handle on the outside while I screw this in. Should line up with the holes like I showed you. You don't want to over tighten on the door because that'll make the switch hard to move. 
but this is doing pretty good. So we're gonna try it without locking the door. But if we push this down, that'd be to lock the door. It goes up. If I push it down, it's gonna go down so it's open. Let's close the door to make sure it works. It definitely closes so nothing's in the way. All right, let's lock it by pushing the switch down. And the tug. And it's definitely locking the sliding glass door. Now let's push this up and it unlocks the door. Notice that this has the hook still coming up. So it's a little different than the old one. Or the old one was just really broken and this was going all the way on the inside when it shouldn't have been. But that is how you repair the Mortiz lock on your sliding glass door. And I also showed you, you know, sometimes this thing can get stuck. So you might want to just put some silicone in there or some type of grease. I use lithium grease. And it still wasn't working, but sometimes that, that, that makes all the difference and it works. But I'll leave a link in the description below so that you can buy your own Mortiz lock. I'll leave this specific model. And just remember that there's an adjustment screw right here. If you tighten that screw with a flathead, it makes the hook go out. And if you loosen it, it makes the hook go in. So all dependent upon the catch over here, but you can adjust this hook in or out. I'm gonna leave it the way it was, because it was catching good and it wasn't rocking around too much. There you go, and that's how you fix it. If you like this video and you wanna see more like it, please give us a thumbs up and push that subscribe button below. While you're down there, please push on the bell notification icon so that way you'll be notified of future Eric DIY video releases. We appreciate everything you do for us. Thank you and have a great night. As always, if you like this video, found it useful, please subscribe. And if you have a product that you would like reviewed, please contact Eric by emailing him at eric5150diy at gmail.com. Have a great day.